within about four to six weeks after a woman has a baby, she's usually starting to feel like she wants to get started in an exercise program again. It's very important before you start an exercise program that you check with your health care provider and make sure you're sufficiently healed. If they give you the go-ahead, then try to think about setting up a program that's very gentle and very slow progression. It's important that you don't overload your body too quickly. Remember, if you're feeling tired while you're doing it or tired and sore afterwards, it's probably a little too much too soon. Gentle, slow loading is the best way. Now, women need to keep in mind when they're exercising aerobically or doing their cardiovascular fitness exercises that they're going to probably feel still a little bit out of breath and it's, they're not going to feel like they're comfortable doing the exercise right off the beginning. That's why it's important to do something that you already feel comfortable with, such as walking or stationary cycling or swimming. Then you can, as you feel better and stronger, start to build on that program. As long as you feel all right, as long as you're not noticing any of the warning signs and symptoms we saw at the beginning of the program, then you can go ahead and continue with the exercise. And like I said, slow, gentle loading. Your intensity should be at a somewhat moderate level. You should stay with a duration of about 20 to 30 minutes and building about five minutes a week depending on how you feel, at least three to five days a week. But don't start off the back at, right off the bat at five days a week. You want to start at three, monitor how you feel, and then build from there. So any type of activity that's comfortable for you and is cardiovascular is fine, just as long as it, you still feel like you have good balance and don't go do something that, that requires a lot of ballistic movement. One thing I check on all the women that come into my postpartum program is to see whether or not their shoes fit correctly. A little known fact is, is that after pregnancy, most women's feet are a half to a full size larger than they were before, and that's a permanent change. So what I have women do is stand in front of me and I make sure that there's at least a thumb width length from their longest toe to the end of their shoe. There should also be between about an eighth to a fourth inch on the sides of the shoe. You want to make sure these shoes fit properly so that women aren't really trying to push their feet into sm too small of shoes and ending up with a lot of foot problems.